Bye. Twinkle Home Ed have teamed up with World Ocean Day to bring you this brilliant resource, packed full of exciting learning opportunities. Let's dive in. World Ocean Day's mission is to rally the world to protect and restore the oceans. Using its network of youth and organisational leaders, World Ocean Day's current aim is to ensure that 30% of the world's oceans are protected by 2030. But the big question is, will you join them in their mission? What percentage of the world's ocean do you think are yet to be explored? Have a guess. Well, I'll tell you, a massive 80% is yet to be explored. So there's a lot of work to be done. Let's start in the Pacific Ocean. This is the largest ocean on Earth and is home to the Great Barrier Reef, which is so huge it can be seen from the moon. In the depths of the Pacific Ocean, you'll find the Mariana Trench, which contains the deepest point in the ocean, known as Challenger Deep. I wonder what kind of creatures live there. Let's head on to a different ocean. We'll take a dive into the Atlantic Ocean next. With great white sharks, bluefin tuna, spinner dolphins, king penguins, seahorses and walruses, the Atlantic Ocean is a busy place to be. Many of the world's largest rivers drain into the Atlantic Ocean, including the Amazon, the Mississippi and the Congo. We've looked at the two biggest oceans, but how about the smallest? we'll need to head to the Arctic Ocean. Now, although it's our smallest ocean, it's still a massive 5.5 million square miles. This ocean is often completely covered in sea ice, although the amount of ice is decreasing each year due to global warming. Which animals will that affect? Check your resource pack to find out. Not got your hands on the resource pack yet? Well, head to the link in the description below this video. Parts of the ocean that we do know about are filled with an amazing diversity of plant and animal life. Let's take a look at some of them. How long do you think jellyfish have been in our oceans? Well, you'll have to look in the resource to find out, but I'll give you a clue. They're older than the dinosaurs. Humpback whales live in the warmer parts of the ocean where they spend all summer feeding. They only come near the coast during the colder winter months when they can live off their fat reserves. Crabs live in the ocean and on land and you might be lucky and find one on the seashore. They like hanging out in rock pools and sometimes hide in the sand too. I think it's time for a challenge. Let's take a look at some creatures that live in the ocean and have a think about where you're most likely to find them. Sharks, the open ocean or the mudflats? Which do you think? We're most likely to find a shark way out in the open ocean. How about this bird called the oyster catcher? Would you find this in an estuary leading to the sea or at the coral reef? If you chose the estuary, you're right. Let's try one more. Where are you most likely to see a seahorse? In the open ocean or in a seagrass meadow? In a seagrass meadow. Why do you think that is? There are plenty more matches to be made in the World Ocean Day resource pack. Head to the link in the description below this video to download yours. So how do people use the ocean? Well, there's loads of different ways. Here's a few examples. But can you think of any more? Pause the video here to think of as many different ways as you can that the ocean and the shores around it are used. I'm sure you thought of loads. Did you get any of these? A source of food. Fish, crustaceans, even seaweed are all taken from the ocean to eat. Transport. People travel on ferries across the ocean and many goods are transported by sea on cargo ships. And let's not forget, the ocean can be a great place to have fun. People swim and dive in the ocean and use all sorts of recreational boats. You can make your own fan book about how people use the ocean. The link below this video will take you straight there. So we've discovered the ocean is a pretty special place, but oceans need our help. The oceans of the world are in trouble. What can we do to help protect them? Here's a few ideas to get you started. Can you think of any more of your own? Which of these ideas will you try and focus on? And which do you think are the most important? 
What positive steps will you encourage other people to take to ensure the future of our world's oceans? Celebrate and take action on World Ocean Day. You'll find everything you need in our resource pack made in collaboration with World Ocean Day. Head to the link in the description. One ocean, one climate, one future together. Another great addition to your home ed journey with Twinkle.